Oh, we missed it by like two days. Those guys are... $50,000 for the winner. Yeah. Uh, that's better games that I don't have to do with my friends. Canada not coming? They usually do. Canada not coming? Canada not coming? Think about it. That one is hard. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
I forget what it's called, but we might do something during spring break. <laughs> it's something where you go help little kids at this little thing, Baki Creek, that we might be doing that. Okay, all right, cool. Let's keep, let's keep that on that track. Okay. Anybody just talk about something? You know, that's cool. All right, BCM? Um, we have our meeting Thursday, and we were wondering if we could give away food or candy or something like that to promote it. Comes Is that right. possible? <laughs> yeah, okay. Just sure. It's all like really weird about the lines. Like you can only. Oh, not food. That's right. Yeah. yeah, but she knows like pop tarts or, yeah, or, yeah. or something like that. They can do that. That's not bad. Okay. Anything else? No, that's it. All right, brother to brother. Where's the candle Did you want to talk for him? You, you, you ain't brother, right? Oh, yeah. No? She's Okay, she's <laughs> 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 okay. Uh, CFI. Um, our meeting should be next Thursday. Uh, we're starting to prepare for the speaker that we're going to bring. Try and get some flyers and just advertise enough all around the place so people know. Have a date for that? Uh, Baldwin knows I don't. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so, uh, as soon as you find out that date yeah. and everything, let us know because that's actually the co-host of the event that I was So we need to uh, go ahead and start pushing that out. I believe it's like something like April third or something. Yeah, it's something like April. I don't have a class anymore. Plus, um, let us know. Uh, anything else? Is that, is that enough? That's it. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> Air science? Good. Pretty much the awesomest club ever, um, <laughs> especially at, at proper grammar usage. Um, that's really all I got for you. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Empower? You don't really have a meeting set up yet. You would like, you really want to have a masquerade on campus sometime in March. Nice. And then I'll have a report for you next time on the liquor. Okay. Awesome. Cool. Thank you. Florida nurses? Oh, my God. Uh, French Alliance. Uh, we had our uh, end semester meeting um, lunch and thing um, after the uh, back to Christmas party last semester. It went well. A few people showed up. Lori came and had some great food. food nice. and great food. And all kinds of goodies that we only had like maybe half a dozen people. It was good, and then we had our first class this morning, so I don't know when our next meeting is yet. And then um, we're um, also still looking for more club members. So okay. Anyone we can help to uh, yeah. any of that, let us know. Well, we have a bunch of new people in the French, too, this semester, so we should be getting some new club members. Okay, awesome. Russell? Uh, we're getting everybody's new schedules for the semester to set up more events and we've been practicing with Bay and we're moving to Mosley this semester, South Walton and maybe some Arnold. Um, there's a after season, post season wrestling tournament where it's a senior thing for the high schools. And uh, I was talking to the guy that puts it on and we might be able to compete with them since they're all seniors. Nice. Just for fun and just promote our club too. And that's it. <laughs> all right, uh, GSA. Um, we'll have our first meeting after this meeting in the cafeteria today, and that's it. And it's us. Um, we have a speaker event coming up uh, February 7th in Conference Center, 6 p.m. Student Union East. Who's the speaker? Yeah. Um, Oh God, you can't pronounce his name. Oh, okay. Full post, so look at it. Linda Papadopoulos. Oh, yeah, Jackson. I'm down. It looks really interesting, so. Jackson Biden. Cats. Nice. Cats on. It's a live event. It's going to be a live internet broadcast. Okay. Anything else? Can you tell us? No? What's your name? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What is it? I'm sorry. Yes, okay. Um, we'll need to uh, next meeting. I should swear you went to it. We should have done that earlier. Okay. We'll go ahead. She has her form and everything. Yeah. Okay. And uh, we'll have to change in the club packet too. But are they there? Come to bed or not? Oh, no, but I'm just happy she's here. Yes. Yeah. I, I, I sought her out and asked her to join. Uh, <laughs> yeah, and then I told somebody in leadership that you had asked me to join and they dragged me down to her office. Here's her new representative. Sorry. We should play a referral. Really? Yeah. We're really glad to have you. And we actually did change the uh, book in the office this morning. 
I'm not quite sure yet. And since I haven't seen him ever since last year, I don't really have anything else. <laughs> okay. All right, uh, PTA. Quidditch. Well, oh, yeah, I would say there's. I'll go next. I'm sorry. Love you want me to go ahead? Yeah, go ahead. Because I'm all Quidditch, so. All right, well, um, in related news, case. Anybody didn't hear or missed it? Unless you lost so hard. <laughs> <laughs> First shut up in BCS so history. Yeah. I just, it's just it's general knowledge that just a, for the betterment of society, anytime LSU loses, makes Quidditch happy. Um, <laughs> wow. As far as Quidditch goes, let's see. Yeah, that just happened. Um, <laughs> we're actually we're actually trying to. If by a shutout you mean suck, it did suck for LSU. But uh, we're trying to actually convert into an intramural sport instead of a club. Uh, so we'll keep you guys updated on that. The, I the idea and the whole fire is not dead. It's just we have to figure out the best way to. So you said you're trying to become a club, not an intramural sport now, or another way? No, we're other currently way. a club. We're going to try to become an intramural sport, okay. and we're going to try to bring intramural sports as a whole really back. Yes. You know? So this will just be one of them. Cool. Yeah. All right, let's go back to PTK. Okay, I have to disagree with Eric. <laughs> <laughs> I think that is the most awesome group on campus. Uh, Which you should know since he is the president. So, um, we don't have our regular meeting set up yet, but um, we're working on it. Eric will figure that out what day we're going to have those and we'll let you know. Um, we did a Christmas um, ginger parent thing that's kind of like an angel tree, like they have for the kids, but it was for elderly people. And we bought some Christmas presents for them and wrapped them and had those delivered uh, through the Ginger Parents program to, uh, to some elderly people in some nursing homes. And um, had a great um, induction ceremony. Eric headed that up. So. Big things. We're always looking for new people. So anybody who's got a 3.5 or higher, come see us. Nice. Nice blow. Where's the story? Um, we're going to have a meeting tomorrow and hopefully put together some more fundraisers for this semester. Okay. Nice. Uh, we're getting t-shirts made, and for a fundraiser, we're going to sell advertisements on the back. So if anybody knows any businesses or anything that want to some advertising, just come see. Nice. Okay. Uh, Tech. It's Mike. That's right. Um, we're having a meeting at 1 p.m. and 4 p.m. on a week from this Wednesday in the uh, room that's going to be the conference room upstairs in the Tech building. Uh, we also have acquired some space for our weapons lab. It's going to be the room at the top of the stairs at the west end of the technology building. We're waiting for it to be emptied so we can uh, occupy it. And uh, we hopefully have some awesome weapons coming online soon. Trio. Still a couple members. Everybody want to join? Come on down. Man, you need to plug in your popcorn days because I just found out about those. <laughs> Our first meeting will be next Tuesday, and we'll talk about Greece or whatever. <laughs> talk about stuff. All right, uh, for all clubs, man, I want everybody to know that, like, anytime you need to take your clubs, that's what we're here for. Come to us. We have everything from, like, banner printers to help you get advertisement, anything questions you know about your club, come to us. Because we really, like, we're here to help you. I know a lot of clubs do, but some don't. And they try and, like, what they, they, they struggle more than they need to. You know what I mean? So come to us. That's all I have. Sorry. Bye. Um, 
Uh, let's go on to organization reports. We're going to Spike Soup. All right. Well, if any of your clubs need anything advertised or promoted, you can just come to Daniel or me, and we're always looking for more stuff to promote. Also, we have our new website of gcwirednews.com. It's awesome. You guys should check it out sometime. And we... It's actually been, right there, right? Yeah. Yeah. Right and we have also been talking to um, what was it? Saint Andrew? about filming their Mardi Gras parade that they got going on. Okay. Nice. You guys are all over the place, man. They did a great job with the uh, No No Parade. Yeah, that was Superman out there, didn't it? Everybody can see pictures of Superman over here. Because, and it was pretty bad because, like, right behind us was Shrek. So if he, if he didn't beat us to the kids, he didn't get no attention to Superman. It's like, well, sure. That was like, who's Superman's? I want to try it. That was good. Of them. They, they did a really good job. I know, right? Oh. <laughs> they did a good job with Toys or Tots, too. Yes. I've seen that. Slow mo. Slow mo. Slow mo. I almost stuck that lane. I was there. 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 All right, uh, go strike. Hey everybody, we are coming out at the end of the month, I think the 30th, so look for us. That's what I'm shooting for right now. I will give you guys a exciting preview of what will be in it next meeting. Nice. So, don't forget. Bring Bo. Man, he actually gets to be here to do the report. Uh, that's what I'm talking about. Um, we're having our first tournament of this semester uh, next Friday and Saturday, the 20th and 21st at Chipola College. What days are those, sorry? Uh, the 20th and 21st, uh, next Friday and Saturday. Okay. And um, even though we do have all five members of the team decided on, we do still encourage anyone that's interested to come out and just see what it's like anyway, if they'd be here next year or something like that. Okay, awesome. All right, let's move on to that report. I don't see hope anywhere. Uh, so I'll announce the upcoming games they have. If everybody looked on, um, one of these sheets I've got to set up. Um, this guy right here. This has all the meetings on it, and then it actually has a bunch of other important dates, and I have more, I just didn't have time to put them on here. And then if you look in the back, that's home athletic events. These are all our home conference games, which actually girls and guys at the same time. First one is tomorrow, and we're playing uh, Pensacola. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Pensacola is a big rival. Big rival. So make sure everybody come out. We're actually going to start, I think, doing things like this church was happening. We're going to start throwing those out of the games. Just get, not only get rid of them, but encourage people to come. Like, we've been making this in there for a while. But uh, we need ideas to keep the athletics going. I mean, we give a lot of our money in here to athletics. So, right now, we need to keep pushing as hard as we can to get people there. It's a good time, man. Athletic events here are crazy. I mean, she only got kicked out one like a month ago. Right? Oh, yeah, you could have had a crazy dude in front of us yelling, like, oh, yeah, I'm not talking about that. <laughs> <laughs> but um, also, um, there's a. Um, Visual and performing arts, there's some uh, stuff going on there um, on the back. There, okay, I guess I'm not going to push you. <laughs> All right, we'll move on to that advisor's report. Uh, school leadership? Um, I actually have a few things today. Uh, First of all, I want to say congratulations because as of this morning, it is official that Pitt empowered brother to brother GC Wrestling and French Club are no longer on probation, but they are for <laughs> So congratulations, every one of the employees at the meeting who voted, the vote was unanimous. They, they were all impressed by what these groups and organizations have done on campus in the short time that they've been organized. And so I would just say keep up the good work. Um, also, I just wanted to say thanks to everyone who ever came to one of these smoking forums, who has helped support us through this. Um, it has been difficult getting this thing going and getting it implemented and I know that there was a lot of hesitation, there was a lot of second guessing, there was a little pushback. Um, so far it looks as if it's been implemented pretty smoothly um, and I just want to thank everybody for sticking with us and helping out in any way that you did with that because it, it's, it, it made things a little rocky last semester. So. Um, we're going to have another club fair on January 25th, so any of you new clubs or existing clubs who are interested in setting up a table to recruit new members or just 
get the word out about what it is you do. If you're interested in the table, just let me know. Uh, again, it'll be January 25th. We'll probably set up the tables so they're good to run by 9 o'clock, and then you can stay out there and man tables as long as you'd like. Okay? Um, also, if anyone is interested, it is not too late to join or sign up for the France-Spain trip for the summer. Um, it's getting kind of close, and I know that it's, a, it's a lot of money, but if anyone's interested or has any questions about that, please come see me. There is still time if anyone's interested. And then within the next probably six weeks, we will go ahead and open up our trip for next summer, which will be to Ireland, Scotland, oh, London, and nice. Paris. So just to let, because that, if we open it up in the next six weeks, that gives everyone exactly. over a year to pay for the trip. That's why we try to open up, well, this, I don't know what is it? We try to open up the trips at least a year ahead of time because it makes it a little bit more affordable. It makes the payments a little bit more manageable. So the last one, the next one's going to be Ireland? For next summer. It will be, yes, it'll start in Ireland. It was certainly weird. I see money signs, but I'm like, uh. <laughs> So uh, if you have any questions about either of the trips, just come and see me. That's all I have. All right, uh, did you want to record anything for the trim? Um, She's sick, actually. Yeah, she's pretty sick. Uh, no, not now. I'll, I'll get with her and okay. figure that out when she's back. All right, we'll move on to uh, officer reports. Uh, President, uh, first, if you see goals and aspirations, you're basically asking going to talk about like what we expect this year, what we're going to uh, do in SGA, a couple things we want to accomplish. Um, I love, for a lot of us, it's our last you know, semester here. We're going to go out with a big plan. And I want a lot of things that we hit off this year. You know, we have been big on events. And we've, uh, we've been decent on community service, um, but I really want to hit community service hard this semester, and I want to reach out to the students this semester, figure out, like, everybody's in a class here. That means with all the classes everybody's taking right now, you could easily talk to about four or five hundred students. I mean, think about that. Really, that's a lot. I mean, even more. Um, figure out what is going on, what they need on campus, what they like. Today, I found out that it would be a good idea to host um, or have a music staff paper in the bookstore. You know what I mean? Like, that'd be a great idea. Figure out little things that we can do to improve the campus by the end of the year. Um, one of the things I know if it's on your date, we're going to do a campus cleanup day on the 31st of March. I think that's going to be a really good event. Um, it's actually Saturday, so we're going to spend all day beautifying campus in a different way than most, like, the, the maintenance staff custodians that they do a great job, but we want to, you know, a different level, you know, we want to help them out so they ain't working so hard. Um, other than that, I mean, I'm constantly coming up with anybody has any new ideas bring it to us. I want this year, this semester to be like a huge semester. A lot of clubs in SGA and at ACB kind of in particular, um, the, the, the spring isn't as pumped up as it is in the fall. You know, and I want to keep that energy riding. We had a huge wave of energy in the fall and I want to keep it going. So whatever we got to do to keep that going, just, I will hardly ever say no to anything. I, that's a, one of my downsides. So <laughs> let everybody know that. Um, now I'm gonna have I have a big announcement and move on. Um, I'm actually reconstructing SGA completely with new officers, and unfortunately I didn't have the PowerPoint ready today. Um, but I mean I know you guys can't see it; it's it's big right here. <laughs> so, but there's gonna be three vice presidents now. I'm opening this up for anybody that wants to run for any office, and I'll let you know who's running for office right now. There's going to be a vice president of governmental affairs and organizational structure. There's going to be a vice president of budget and finance. And there's going to be a vice president of student life, along with the secretary and parliamentarian. But right now, um, Gene and Morgan are both going to step up into the vice president of organizational affairs and into the vice president of student life. Michael Lee wants to step into the budget and finance. Um, with these, in this position, them stepping up, the other offices have actually will come available too. Not saying that they automatically get the top spot, but that means all offices are fair game right now. So Barbara's actually talked about being parliamentarian, and then Justin has stepped up to be secretary. Now, this, like I said, this doesn't mean to set in stone. Anybody you have until 2 o'clock tomorrow to come to me, I'm giving it overnight to soak in. Anybody that wants to run for any position, and by Friday, me and Lori will have decided who the new office is to vote in by the next meeting in SGA. So I'm going to throw that out to everybody, let them know. Uh, any questions you have about any of the offices, come talk to me. I'll let you know all about the rest. I kind of just winged it, so I can't really like tell you to go look at this. You know, I just kind of like figure out what we need in SGA and structure around that. So, um, I don't know how to put around that. I'm sorry, I didn't talk a lot. Um, 
a meeting, meeting times. Basically what this is, is from now on, every week we don't have a meeting. You can schedule your committee meetings as either a chair or coach or even just a member if you want to say your committee needs to meet. On the weeks that we don't meet in SGA, you have three blocks you can do it. 12.30 to 1, 1 to 1.30, or 1.30 to 2. And you come in and sign with either Aaron or Michael anytime and we got to sit down and make that chart there the are also the there are also other rooms available on campus mm -hmm. if we have two committees that need to meet at the same time that are of substantial size i can reserve another room for one of the committees Perfect. to meet in so um Perfect. so that so we, that won't be an issue and i know uh, the committees you know we got a lot of stuff to do this semester and you know one of the big things has been not being able to meet so that's what it's going to be so um I guess next week or the next meeting i can have a detailed outline of which meetings i mean it's kind of pretty obvious which ones on here we don't have meetings on but i would like to put it in front of you anyway so everybody can see it. um but come down and sign up because i want everything to go with committees like smooth and meetings as bad as some meetings are they're necessary in a way so um Tropical smoothie tomorrow. The reason I announced this and said everybody's is like basically put it on last and as an e-board vote. So tomorrow at 11 and at 12:15 it'll be free tropical smoothie in the cafeteria. Go out and tell everybody. Tropical smoothie is amazing. I eat, like, drink whatever. I don't even know if you eat or you drink a smoothie. What do you do? Yeah, you, you gotta chew it. All right. What do you do? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, with having said it, I'm gonna move on to the vice president report. And Caesar has an announcement to tell everybody. Oh, uh, announcement. I hate to disappoint the masses. I love all y'all. I'll still be part of student government. I just won't be running for one of the new vice presidential spots. So. Hey, I want to give uh, one time for you. <laughs> he's not going to be leaving this. He's just going to be. Yeah, I'm definitely still going to be very involved. Like if I never left in the first place. Actually, more involved this semester than I was last semester. I was. A lot more busier last semester. Um, that's all. Okay. I'll be seeing y'all. Um, unfortunately, guys, I got to backtrack just a little bit. I skipped a couple things I got to talk about. Um, one, elections is coming up for new offices next year. I'm looking at the week of the 27th of February through March 2nd, where elections will be held. So, what do we? We normally open up a month before for to for to accept applications. Yeah, we can yeah. go ahead and open up for applications by the end of this month. Okay, so around the week of the 30th, we'll start accepting applications. For anybody that wants to be in office next year, I encourage it. Like, SGA has is, become a big uh, organization on campus, and the energy needs to keep going, and there's a lot of great people in here. I've actually, uh, people approach me that aren't even in SGA talking about running for office next year, which is great. I think we're having a great turnout for elections. Um, also, um, we have, um, we've decided, because we ran into a couple complications with voting last year. Well, I'll, I'll need to check with someone advising before it's written in stone that we can use that room. No, that's fine. Yeah, yeah. that's fine. That's I'm fine. talking about um, voting for like actual meetings, like um, issues and stuff like that. Um, we were in a complication of having too many senators on SGA and not enough president to make a vote. So what I'm coming at, um, I need a list, and I need you to come down to SGA and talk to me. If you automatically all club reps are considered senators, any member at large that is not a club rep, come to me and let me know if you would like to be a voting senator or a non-official SGA representative. Um, because we need to have an active headcount and a quorum at all meetings to make any decision. And if we have 100 people on SGA but only 60 of them show up to a meeting, it means we have to have. 51 to make a quorum if half the people are sick that day we can't vote on anything you know what i mean there's a lot of people that want to join sga that can't come to the meetings but that's fine we should include out like a lot of people join community service but they cannot commit these meetings so we got to make that fine line who's a voting senator and who's not and that's what a lot of this structure is right here is what it's eventually leading to so just keep that in mind and come down and talk to me if you want to if any members of ours want to be a voting senator or not i need to know and um, also, we need to, uh, we're having a problem with multiple reps on clubs. Um, no offense, I know you're like five club reps, but take back to like your five clubs and tell them we need somebody here from each club. So if you're Quidditch, which is what you technically are right now, I need, I need uh, Becky or somebody to come from Earth Science. And luckily, we have Rain Ball that's coming now. Um, we need all these clubs. Like I know, Michael, uh, you do a lot of uh, different clubs. We need to make sure that we uh, spread it out because we have to keep attendance. 
and it's not fair for somebody to send, you know, like it doesn't bring an accurate report back to the club. You know what I mean? So let's just make sure we do that. Sorry, rambling again, long break. See what happened? Y'all gave me a month off and I heard my name. <laughs> just let me stay here and I'd have been fine. Um, executive secretary, what you got? Well, I just, um, the attendance sheet got here late, and I've noticed a couple people sat down early. So um, if you didn't check out the attendance sheet, just go ahead and check your name off of it, and that's about it. Justin. Yes. Justin. Oh, the attendance sheet. Okay. Um, <coughs> yeah, if you would just keep it right there. Just don't yeah, ask me. After the meeting, anybody needs to sign it, we'll put it up on the podium. Uh, Parliamentary. Nada. Nada. All right, committee reports. Now, basically, what this is going to go down to is I know committees don't have hardly anything to do before right now. What I want you to do is, everybody that's um, speaking for that committee today, give me some goals of what you want your, to come out of your committee, and I'm also going to give you some tasks I want the committee to tackle as well. So, if, I'm sorry, I know this is going to be my question. Okay, so I'm going to go down the line. I'm going to go with um, Tri College first. So, um, I would like to meet with Michael. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> like uh, imme immediately after this, because we, um, me, you, and Michael uh, Stan was talking the other day about the information that we have, and whoever else wants to meet also, like immediately after we can meet, and he will give you all the information that we'll use for our next try college. Um, but that's specifically for a certain type of communication. And. Um, so these are some couple issues I want you guys to tackle. Uh, if you guys haven't been aware yet, they're letting SGA host the survey in, I believe, March or in February, um, talking about the new smoking ban, how effective is it, and do we need to go to designated areas? That's one of the issues I want you guys to tackle on this coming up, developing that survey, along with Student Life. You guys will work hand in hand. Um, the, the budget. Um, our overall budget in SGA, it's an issue we need to tackle. Um, maintenance, which Michael Lee, you've done a great job on. Um, and uh, I've had uh, recent complaints with um, certain professors on campus. Um, something we need to tackle, look into further. So there's a couple projects I'm looking for the semester. And also whatever else you guys want to do. But did you have anything else? That's all. Okay. Uh, Student track report. Um, the only committee we have doing this, actually, Lori is going to be the chair. Only person, only advisor we have on the committee. But, go ahead. Yeah, and really, th this was uh, a committee that was asked to be established by the college just to give students an outlet for any grievance they may feel has, may have occurred in when they received their ticket, be it a parking ticket, mostly is going to be the biggest issue we're going to be dealing with. Um, so, we went ahead and we established a process. We're about to go online with the forms and we'll set up committee times for the committee to understand how the process is going to work before we actually have our first traffic court date. Okay. All right. Um, let's go with publicity. Um, of course, you're going to have to report for both Justin and Sam isn't here. Let's go ahead and go with online. All right. Uh, first off, really what it is is last year, I uh, at some point I started doing the uh, Facebook page for SGA. And it's doing pretty good. Like we are uh, putting some of the events up there, like the eat events, eating events, and the uh, some of the shows that were that were run by the college as well. Basically, anyone that's on this list for being on campus or online publicity, just talk to the other students that are around campus, see what they're feeling like, find out about events, pass them on to me. If you have an event going on for your club, an event for a charity, a scholarship, anything like that. Just send me a message in that Facebook or a flyer like we did last semester. And uh, goals for this semester, I'll say uh, see if you can get as many of your friends to join the SGA Facebook page as possible because that's the best medium we have for at least uh, our committee. Uh, I agree. That's, I think that's one of the biggest goals we have for the online publicity is expanding out, re trying a way to reach all students because online is not right now, honestly. It's, one of the things, I mean, it's not the going it is hot, but, um, sorry. Um, I would really like to see us merge into that um, downloadable app, the website, um, uh, what was it, the uh, QR codes, 
scan and I'd like to see us start doing some stuff like that for online publicity. Okay. That'd be great. That's awesome. <laughs> well, for on campus, you can go ahead and speak for them. Yeah. For well, on I mean, campus is pretty much the same thing. Like uh, someone else said, we're in class. Chaz, I believe, said we're in class. We're around students all the time. So anytime you want to promote something or you know that another club has something going on that day and you may not be able to make it, push it. If there's an event like a basketball game, baseball game, softball game, we need attendance from not only student body, SGA members, but your voice can help push members into going out there. They may not have had anything to do, don't want to spend any money. Go out to a basketball game. It's a lot of fun. They're free. So I would say just talk to everyone. That's communication. Talk with all the rest of the members in SGA. Talk with the members outside of SGA. <coughs> And we can really expand more and have more people show up to these meetings to vote, to contribute, to do whatever. And that's pretty much our committee's uh, goal. Okay, awesome. All right, let's go on to, uh, now entertainment's gonna be a little different this year. I've actually <coughs> worked on um, how we're gonna restructure that. That's one of the things that's really bottom line. Like what I'm kind of looking at is making whoever's over entertainment a possible smaller scholarship stipend. Um, and somebody heading that um, it's, a, it's a little, it's a, it's a weird animal, it really is, I don't know how to explain it, it's weird. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to event planning. Um, if you're on event planning, we need to get together sometime soon so we can get an idea of all we're going to do with whoever becomes the in charge of student life. Uh, the, my, my current plan is to just take all the different types of events we have, find who's really passionate about the different type of event, and let them plan it, and that way we can all get a lot done because we have a lot of people on this committee and we can get a lot done with it if we work toward it. Okay, I'm going to give you a couple of projects. Um, the Lua, which Morgan is hosting, is actually going to be over you guys too. We need a lot of help in that. If everybody know uh, the Lua, we're trying to plan for April 14th. Um, right now, the date's not set in stone, so we haven't even talked to Shipwreck to confirm the date, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be fine. They're not even open yet, I don't think, right? No. But um, we want two driving movies this semester. Um, the, who was it brought it up? I believe it was your group during the um, retreat, the Pirates versus Ninjas thing. I love that. Like, we, need, we need to do something with that. Yeah. Um, tailgating parties, big one. If anything, one big one, but I would like to keep doing it at all these conference games. And we have, what, seven of them within the next two months? Let's see what we got. Yeah, we have six of them in the next two months. Or next month, wow, now a month and a half. So yeah, let's make sure we can get some stuff going with them. I was talking to uh, uh, Best Buy about possibly them becoming a sponsor for us. And what they would do is they would come out and bring the big flat screen TVs on the Saturdays we have games and would actually film, like sh broadcast events and stuff while we're at the barbecue and stuff. Cool. So um, talk to them about that. And then Midnight Madness, which you guys will be in charge of. And uh, we'll have plenty more events, but those are just a couple of starters. Um, and the uh, uh, Grand Movie Nights as well. Which everybody can see on the list, we have one coming up on um, January 25th at 6.30. Yeah. Yep. There's something coming on that day, I don't know. For some reason, we picked up that. The weekend before that, what's coming out? Do we know? No. Anybody know what's coming out that week? So what, next week? Anybody? A big movie. For some reason, we pick these dates because there's big movies. Yeah. Red Tails comes out the 20th. Huh? Red Tails comes out the 20th. Well, that's yeah, that's what it was. That's going to be a Red Tails. That might be it. Uh, I really don't. We're, we're, we're randomly, we're random through here. It's a good idea at the time, we forget the idea. That's why we write it down. I like our last one. Uh, I like our last one the best, though. The last one, yeah. Um, What is it? Midnight. May 3rd, we're going to have an Avengers Midnight premiere at the Grand Movie. <laughs> we're basically, everybody's going to come dress out. We're going to try and partner with, uh, it's actually going to be like an end of the year blowout, too. I know that's usually what the Luau is, but this is like the last day of finals. Um, Go out at midnight, dress up. I know this dude's gonna dress up like somebody like Thor, Captain America, I don't know. So <laughs> but dress up, go crazy, and we're just gonna have a good time. Try and part of the Island of Six, because I know they'll be out there and stuff. That'll be fun. And we have another one too. What do we do? Hunger Games in March. Yeah, the Hunger Games in uh, March. <laughs> no. Is it March? All right. Well, Under, I don't know. Underworld. Underworld. Yeah. Okay. Underworld coming out the 20th. Yeah. Underworld. All right. That's what it is. Okay. That's a movie. I don't know why. It's a real vampire movie. Huh? Real vampire movie right there. Yeah. It's the one? Yeah. All right. All right. I'll, I'll like Marvel. So I'm hoping they're going to love All right. We're going to go ahead and move on. Um, first, uh, community service as a whole. What do you guys? Um, uh, yeah. <laughs> 
We're going to have a meeting Friday at 11 a.m. Okay. to take the things we talked about last semester and make them happen this semester, awesome. and then figure out overall what else we're going to throw into the basket. Okay, um, somebody approached me actually like two days ago, or a little bit two days ago, I've been Sunday, uh, last week about um, Martin Luther King Day, a uh, community service opportunity to where we could go to um, uh, the rescue mission and serve food for the day. And then there's somebody else, I got, I got it wrote down, but then they host like this big event where like they have like bouncy houses and all kinds of stuff for kids and stuff like that. And they want us to come help man and stuff like that. So okay, I'll bring that to the meeting. I'll pass, you, <laughs> pass it on to you. I mean, I'll be there. You know I'll be there. Huh? Can you do HBC real quick? Did I skip that? Oh, I'm sorry, man. It's fine. Uh, do we have anything else for QB service real quick? And then we'll do another. That's about it. Uh, yeah. SGA room. SGA room? Yeah. SGA room. What time? 11. Friday? Yes. Okay. And what are, what, are some, uh, what are some goals, like some different kind of community service you want to do this semester? Like just off top of what we're going to talk about the meeting. That's right. Oh, you got to plan it up? That's All right. Nice. All right. That's cool. Um, yeah, go HBC. Okay, uh, Alex, I think, and Caesar, the co-chairs for HBC. Um, I need you to sit down with me when you get a moment. Let me know when you're free, so we can go through these rules that the person proposed and the rules that they already have established, so we can just make sure we have a good, playable, cohesive game. Uh, that way, that we can actually have a meeting and you know see what we can do. That's and this is one thing perfect while Melissa is in the room, because we would like to hear something to you, Melissa. Hi, Melissa. We would, we would like to play this game. We're going to sit down and talk to you more about it later. But um, for two weeks this time, from February 27th, <laughs> from February 27th to March 9th. Yeah, yeah, we'll come down and talk to you about it. I just want to let you know. So excited. So excited. I think I want to be a this time. Uh, all right. Um, Alex, you're excited. Um, yeah, we plan on going really big this semester. Um, we potentially bring a lot of money in for a good cause. We have, don't have anything set yet, but I mean, there's a lot of stuff that we recycled. We're recycling paper, plastic, aluminum, cardboard, ink cartridges, batteries, technologies with the CDs, DVDs, cell phones, things like that, uh, and can tops. And so, I mean, there's a lot of those stuffs around. And then tell them about your uh, basketball idea. I like that. Uh, we talked about making a basketball goal to so like put it in the campus so when you shoot it goes down the drain into the recycling bin so whoever has a bottle can, you know, because everybody always tries to shoot in the trash can so <laughs> might as well recycle with it. Yeah. Um, yeah. Sucks. Huh? Yeah, everybody sucks and they won't make it. That's why you feel like a big box for me. But um, community service will pick it up. We're a branch of community service so if community service is traveling to go to events like the, the students uh, with the blow up things and all, have recycling cans there, bring all that recycling stuff back and just recycling everything we can all around the community, not just on the campus. Um, and if we recycle all this stuff, I mean, it's potentially a big market for money for something good, so. Um, a couple things that I want to uh, talk about in a second. I, uh, I talked to a couple of chairs of the divisions. And what they're actually going to let us do is set up recycling in their places for like batteries and papers. Like paper is already recycled on campus, which I have to give you the contact for. But um, like batteries, ink cartridges, stuff like that, they just throw out. They're willing to let us, which is why I want like a member of your, each person in your committee pick a building and then go to each one of those and set up those recycling bins and then they're in charge of that building for recycling. Also, I've talked to the uh, Chamber of Commerce and they're going to let us set up recycling inside there. So anything that papers, batteries, technologies, everything they recycle, they're giving all to us. And hopefully, um, the majority of that is actually going to help start to fund the door-to-door -door program. But if you have any other charities and stuff, I want this to start helping fund that kind of stuff. Cool. I found out you can get like, what was it like, five cent or five cents for a can, and it's like ten to twenty-five cents for the little aluminum tops, and like three dollars for a printer cartridge. I was like, wow, like, that's crazy. And we just throw the things away. But, um, and I'll sit down with you too. All right, cool. Some stuff. Cool. From, uh, from door to door, man, um, actually, that's me. I just have a couple of things real quick. We came up with some guidelines and stuff. We're going to have a kickoff, hopefully, by the end of March for the program. And I know I've got a great committee right now, man. I mean, like, we, we came up, like, kind of blew my mind with some of the stuff that was coming up with. But we have a complete set of guidelines and a complete set of, like, what we offer. 
um, as well as um, I'm trying to talk to Chris Holmes about the logo for the program as well. And we need a room, so like this door to door program is really cool. It's really kicking off. Does everybody know what door to door? I know I kind of talk about it, but I never explained it. Does anybody not know what it is? No? Okay, awesome. I know I talk about it a lot, so. Um, you have any questions about that? Any help? Let me know. That'd be awesome. Um, marketing? Go ahead, speak for me. Okay, so um, we haven't really met either, but um, also we plan to go big too. So. And um, those of you who don't know or may have forgotten because we haven't met, it's um, Sam Marl, um, Aaron Wagner, myself, Tyler Bragg, Amanda Task, Juan, both, David Betsy, and Michael Lee. Hopefully we can meet soon, you know, get our planning, marketing out there. That's fine. Um, here, I had a couple things that I want you guys to look at. Um, the little cards that I have, I don't know if you've seen them yet, but they're promo cards, basically about student government, about the different committees, like they show what they're about. Um, they have like pictures, info, little things they've done in the community, like, um, background. So I'm going to start developing some of those for uh, SGA, as well as um, some kind of attraction to the student government room. There is nothing even nothing you know what that, that is at all. Um, so I was thinking maybe like, I know we do the signs on the door, but I want to talk to, um, me and Elizabeth talked about um, the wall of honors that's right there. If we can find some way to relocate that, I actually would like to like somehow do like graffiti inner, uh, like mural of saying student government right outside the wall where the two glass things are. And I think that would look really nice. Um, also working with Chris Holmes too. Um, you, 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 you guys want to get really familiar with him because he's had the marketing campaign. Who's Chris Holmes? Yeah, it's um, Chris and then Tomes, T-H-O-N-E-S. Okay. And his, his email is actually ctomes at Gulf Coast. So. Um, he's helping us design a logo. And basically, like, all these, uh, everybody's going to start working and interact with me, hopefully, here, so all the committees. So, like, from door to door, eventually what I'm going to do is I'm going to come to your marketing. And then you can work closely with our marketing on campus to help design like a logo for the program. And as well as like, you know, we talk about the green team, and, you know, maybe something with that, you know what I mean? Just constantly. And then also, um, we've had, you know, this whole uh, deal with Collegiate Link and Org Sync and stuff like that. We still need to investigate that further, see if it's a done deal or if we need to do more research or if it's a no, you know? And that's gonna be what your committee's in charge of, along with working closely with uh, publicity to develop um, the website, the QR code, scanning, and the um, downloadable app. Which, um, with the downloadable app, they're actually taking a class in the technology building now that designs apps. Um, so we actually, they're talking about taking us on to their first project <coughs> to design our app for us. So I think that'd be pretty awesome to get everybody uh, incorporated on campus. Sorry, I know I'll overload you with stuff, but marketing is like a big thing, man. Like, it's basically SGA's image and every how we reach out to students along with publicity, you know what I mean? They're set they're separate, but they still work together, you know. Um but did you have anything else on the bottom? Oh, that's bad. Right yeah, sorry about that. Uh, student life, Mercedes. Um, I don't know when the next meeting is. Um do you have the next student life meeting on? I don't think we set a date last time we oh, met. Right. She was gonna get back to us with yeah. that date, so we don't have the it. next three weeks, but yeah. in the month. <laughs> I don't know. Like, so I don't feel bad. Yeah. But um, student <laughs> life is like everything on campus. So that's really yeah. all I have to say. These are a couple of issues I want you guys to tackle, all right? Uh, beach volleyball pit, um, the mascot. Um, I just thought we'd go. Huh? Yeah. Um, student activity hour, talking about trying to open new, bring that back or incorporate that somehow on campus. Um, Student life area, which has always been a big deal anyway. The intramural sports, which Eric's already talked about, Quidditch. There's a couple things up. What is the name of that weird game you saw on Michael with the Frisbee or Fr Frazzler? Yeah, Frazzler or whatever. This is it's pretty awesome. It's I, I, it's actually a volley, it's a volleyball in a bucket. Volleyball bucket? Okay. I know it's something to do with a ball or a Frisbee or something. You throw it in this <laughs> container. I don't know. It's It was crazy. It looked fun. It's a non-contact sport that is... It requires a lot of activity. <laughs> <laughs> and um, I mean, there's a bunch of things we could do. We could do um, just like dodgeball, um, kickball, ultimate frisbee. God, that, that one's nuts. We could I mean, do we could, we could do faculty and student games as there well. You go. That would be good. <laughs> oh yeah. Um, I've got student What's life that? on uh, January 23rd at 2:30. What's that? January 23rd at 2:30.
pretty good. Um, also, uh, I'm not going to set up like a tether ball pop in there. That's cool. <laughs> she didn't hear me. Um, also, sorry, oh, okay. saying, uh, discount cards for uh, students going around and uh, finding different businesses and offer discounts and stuff. We've been working on it. We've got a little list, but we're going to grow it. You know what I mean? I've and had a lot of questions about that this semester. Yeah. And um, the last thing, uh, a, a calendar of events and everything. Um, what we've got going on. You want so much, like, it'll actually be whoever steps up to the vice president's spot uh, in student life, but you'll work closely with them to develop a calendar for the entire spring. That will be all events, anything going on on campus, whether it be finals, whether it be events going on, whether it be visual performing arts, whether it be meetings, whatever. And it'll be a complete list of everything going on on campus. And that's what you guys will work on that. Um, sorry, I'll go to YouTube. Did you say the 23rd? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Monday, the 23rd. It'll be Monday. But, January. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't do that. I had it in March. I don't know why. <laughs> 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 um, you guys didn't hear that. No. Sorry. Daniel already needs to mad at me now. <laughs> All right. Yeah, no, I'm not, not going to hear any of that. All right. Um, Campus days on uh, Manny is in here. Do you want to talk for him, Bob? I don't know anything to talk about. But. Okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> basically, the campus liaison committee is just a way for the um, for us to reach out to the sister campuses. I don't know why I call them sister brother campus, whatever they want to be. Um, I want to establish student governments on our campus, and I want to put on one event for them each campus for the spring. And I am at the Gulf Franklin campus on Fridays. This <coughs> so that would have thought that would have worked out. Oh, nice. You're a swore I'm But um, and also I want you to work very closely with recycling and set up recycling on the other campuses as well. So and that's that's the three big projects I have for that. Um, I know Manny's over there. I don't know where he's at, man. This guy. Um, uh, budget. Sorry, well, Mr. Mr. Michael Lee. Mr. Michael Lee has created a website for us where we can actually show people how much money we have spent so far and hopefully we can create a meeting or something sometime soon so we can actually crunch numbers for it. Okay. Um, here's a couple things I want you guys to ask, all right? All right. Develop a travel request guideline, which is actually you'll work closely with the Vice President of uh, uh, Budget and Finance to, like, when we had the issues with, um, like, our club coming in requesting travel, um, who else? Somebody else can do this travel. I don't remember. I'm sorry, I got horrible memory. But um, help us design that guideline criteria for that. Um, I think you've pretty much already done this already, but maintain an accurate um, accounting for all budgeted items coming through SGA, whether it be special fund requests, expenses, whatever. Um, and then um, develop a sponsorship and partnership criteria, um, which is basically like two different things, but like how we partnered with um, with the CFI, right? Yeah, with the, the guest speaker. But then, like last year, we partnered or uh, sponsored NSLS with their event. You know what I mean? Like, we want to make sure we have like sponsorship criteria and partnership, and we want to divide that line. You know what I mean? So, those couple projects that you guys are working on. All right. Uh, do you have anything else up for your budget? Um, not that I can think of. All right, <laughs> cool. And uh, selections. Barbara, that's you again. <laughs> I don't think, I, do we have a photo for that? Nope. Mm -hmm. No? All right, got to make that one, I'm sorry. I'm slowly going. Right. Um, you all have to talk about that one, too. Okay, the selection committee is basically you handle every all incoming applications. Okay. Where everybody, and you, your committee decides who is admitted into SGA, following all criteria, making sure they meet GPA, stuff like that. Um, this committee um, like is really, what I want them to work on is when they come into SGA, figure out where would be the best place for them as far as committee structure wise. Where could they best fit in and help out? That's one of the things you're gonna work closely with them on. So cool. Um, and the Buccaneer, we I want that thing to kick off. Um, I believe you really hard on that. Um, I want to sit down and talk to you about it. Um, it originally was an online newspaper. I think we could actually take the Buccaneer and just make it the SGA's online webpage period. And that's called the Buccaneer. And we have newspaper articles. We have Everything that you had on there plus more. So we sit down and talk about that too. Cool. Yeah, I have to maintain the conversation as well. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. <laughs> it's going to be the official website. I have to be in that conversation.
Okay. I'm bad, bad rules. You know that. I don't know who it goes with. Um, all right, but uh, sorry, guys. I know I drained everybody's brains here. What do we got, man? Yes. All right. All right. Um, does anybody have anything for the good of the order? Yes. Uh, since we're moving to the spring and we want to keep the tempo going of everything, I know in my high school we had a uh, event. It was called Sandblast. It was a volleyball tournament. Everybody put together a team of four to six, and it ended up being a 32-team bracket, and we did it on one Saturday. Um, Where'd you guys do it? We did it on – I went to Fort Walton, so we did it on Okaloosa Island. Okay. But, I mean, any volleyball courts, you can just – I mean, we, we hit up the island, and they have 10 courts, and we said, can we reserve four courts? They reserved them for us for today. We set up a bracket on the big dry race board. Um, and there's four to six members, and uh, we did, like – I think it was like five dollars a person for each team, so it was like thirty dollars a team or something like that. And uh, the money went to a T-shirt, and then all the rest of the money went to uh, food and concession and stuff like that. But um, whatever extra money, of course, you can go to uh, from door to door or whatever. But um, I mean, it's springtime. Everybody loves the beach. Everybody's gonna be at the beach anyway. And uh, I mean, I, I don't know what committee would fall under, but wrestling can back it if we need to. We'll we'll do it. But um, I mean, if, if Y'all want in? We can set up a tournament. Oh, that would actually be a multiple campus. committee thing. You could uh, any of everything from uh, community service to the planning. You could be, be, be a lot of everybody works together on that. Um, event planning, publicity. Everybody worked really closely with publicity on this. Um, because anything we're doing committee wise, you feel it's publicity and then get it out. That's how it works. That's how we all work as a team here. So just wanted to that. Didn't make that up. That's it. Hi. Um, anybody else have anything to do with it? I uh, somebody from Really for Life approached me seeing if we wanted to set up a team. So I guess community service or whoever might want this. Yeah, actually me. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah, that that's one thing. And another uh, housekeeping issue that I just had a question on. Speaking of quorum, was there a voting quorum? On the last meeting, yes. Okay, it's been yeah. confirmed Voted there was quorum. Was, uh, twenty-six, and we had twenty-six present. We're good. We're good. Um, we had to. Uh, I'm, I'm glad you guys really brought that up because that made me like sit back and think. Like, so we, had, we actually have a detailed map, and I'll have to bring it to everybody when we have our next. Um, we're gonna have a uh, spring retreat again um, of the different procedures when it, um, of uh, route control orders. Every every time a motion is uh, passed or a motion is made, a motion is carried, a motion is failed upon. Like it has everything displayed and everything that we need to go through. Like Robert's rule was really simplified. I think you guys really bring that up. That really, I, I don't know why it blew my mind. Like that's one. Anything else, bud? No. Nah. Uh, LSU lost. Just <laughs> <laughs> in, case, in case I didn't mention that. Uh, did you have anything, Melissa? Actually, I do. If you yeah. Don't mind, I, I uh, just wanted to say welcome back from the holiday. Hope everybody had a good holiday yeah, holiday season and getting out. And it was a good end of the semester, and I hope the beginning of a good start to a new semester, maybe a new year. Um, one thing that I know, that's my main argument, basically a smoking issue apparently, um, that I do want to, I just want to commend students. Uh, I've commended our, our employees a great deal about this. I have, I, I'm very, very pleased and, and, and thrilled about how the reception of the committee's budget policy has been on campus. Uh, we will be doing another survey about it. And I have, I've had a lot of feedback, both, both you know, obviously we have place to do it, or obviously, you know, those, those kind of things. But I just want to let you know, I really, really do appreciate it. Uh, for those of you who are non smokers, I think you've noticed already a, a, a cleaner atmosphere. Um, I've noticed um, there are there fewer cigarette butts on campus, but we do need to get them off. Uh, and, and I think that we're, we're moving in a direction that is that is a healthy environment for everyone concerned. I know there are some folks, and I have just got an email about it, who, are, who may be playing in protest. But I want you to understand, and I want and I, this group, I, this is why this group is one, one of the things about this group that you're hearing, is there is, I, I like student protest. I mean, I've done it. I've really this protest before. What, what, what I want you to understand about student protests, and I want y'all to help us with this about student protests, is the student chooses to, if somebody wants to protest something, they have to go through the correct 
procedures for protesting. Okay? There is a there's public address area. There is one. If, 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 uh, if anybody wants to do something of this nature, it has to go through Lori or Katrina's offices. There's a 72-hour waiting window that you have to go through before the, the public address area can be used. We're not censoring information. That's not what we're doing at all. We just want to plan. We want to have a plan for this. We don't want to have anything to, because there are times it's, I was explaining this to, there's some folks on campus right now. We have uh, some people from the church and the science and from the uh, church who are here in the literature distribution. And I explained, when I was explaining this to them, it is for everyone's safety and protection. Okay? It's not about trying to put on, I don't ever want to, trust me, I don't ever want to censor anything. I want to be sure that everyone's protected. And so the 72, 72 hour period gives us a time to plan for it and offer protection. That's it. So, but I, I look forward to another great semester. Y'all did, I guess, a great semester last semester. And so I know you've been busy. I appreciate it because uh, this guy's been driving me crazy. He's not at all. but hey, what if we do so and so and so and so? That sounds good. Okay. <laughs> so, but I, I, I've seen more, in, uh, and Dr. Curley mentions this to us uh, all the time. Mentioned it to me. I know he mentioned it to the your executive board. Continues to mention how much energy there is for this group, and I, 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 I encourage you to keep that group that more engagement going on. Uh, one side note: we're looking at building the pool table, and we're also looking at moving the uh, the Xbox when to the area where uh, over in the, after Captain Creek's finally that that thing is finally completed. I'll actually have stuff going in the private dining room and get a water or something. Um, but that will, that, the Cabin Creek renovations will be through hopefully by the end of January. Of course, right now we're, we're projecting that maybe at the end of January 2045. But <laughs> 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 yeah, it's just been, it, it, it's, I know this been a never ending cycle. What are they going to be here? Well, at the end of, you know, end of September. <laughs> At the end, it will be yeah. the end of uh -huh. some September. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, but it's we, we will have that. We will have that one. And, and at that point, then we can start looking at actually doing some renovation area and some reorganization part in the cafeteria itself and the student interface. So, just want to let you know there, there are things that I hate to say that they're on hold. Some things that just have to wait until that so so the dust settles on something that we can start taking. So, just want to say. Thank you. Have a big Can we give a little time for Melissa? Because she's been here. Thank you. 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 So it's going to be kind of being more serious about not just not hang out spot as much as it used to be. We're, we're trying to get work done, and with the new, we're going to have five e-board members in. You can't be using their computers because, to be honest, we won't have room until we get all five in there, or we won't have room then. And we have to make it an office because Aaron and I, we take care of it the best we can, but it gets ridiculous. And if you're not, if people who aren't, people who don't have an issue or don't need to be there, probably should. Yeah, it's, it's become a big deal. Actually, we've had multiple things about this. And yesterday, somebody mm -hmm. stole Justin's phone in there. Um, Thank you to the beautiful woman with the beautiful handwriting that returned it. I <laughs> yeah. appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Then, uh, we've had multiple things missing out of there. We've had, uh, they came in, they've done a great job cleaning, but it's like every day they have to come in and clean. And also, I mean, support driver touch the corner computer, there's a new virus on that. Uh, so, well, I don't know who's going in there looking at things they ain't supposed to. I ain't saying what, but uh, um. so basically, unless an e-board member is back in that area with the office, yeah. you should not be there. Period. Um, and unless you have a reason to be in the SJ room, if you're eating your lunch real quick, we understand you want to sit there and eat with some people. If you're studying, we understand that as well. But like I said, unless you have a reason to be there, if you're just sitting there to, to sit there, please. Does the cafeteria do that? Because mm -hmm. yeah. we, we got to get work done. We, we honestly do. With all this new stuff going on. It's going to keep everyone busy. Yeah. I just, I don't want to in any way discourage you, man, but, like, you know, we all are adults here, man, and let's, like, you know, let's prove that we can be, you know what I mean? And other people start treating us like adults, otherwise we're going to get treated like 13th grade here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, thank you for bringing that up. Yeah. Uh, tomorrow's Eric's birthday. That's oh, yeah. 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 Yeah.
doing the same thing. Time to the pole. Yeah. Yep. Time to the pole. Yep. yep. You're done. That's the pole. That's the birthday pole from now on. Yep. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> but we right. have him put there in there, so we're going to have to do some big people. Yeah. I might be wearing a tilt, so just a poor one. <laughs> <laughs> cool. I'm wearing gloves. I'm wearing gloves. <laughs> Okay. Does anybody have anything else to do with the order? <laughs> no? Can I get a move to adjourn? I'll move to adjourn. Move to adjourn. Do we have a second? I believe. All in favor? Hands up. All opposed? Unanimous. Motion adjourn. Two thousand and twelve will mark the fifth year that Spike Soup Productions has been promoting this college and the community that we surround. From our humble beginnings of a one camera and a green room to a multi-camera studio that can be moved to almost any location. If you are a Gulf Coast State College student interested in learning more about post-video productions or video journalism, join the team. We are open to all students at Gulf Coast State College, regardless of your major, and whether or not you prefer to be on camera or behind it. You could also get college credit by our cooperative program. To find out more, come by our studios in a technology building in room 123, where next to the vending machine. Also check out our website, gcwirednews.com. Hi, I'm here with Miss Hoyt, who is the coordinator of the cooperative education program here at Gulf Coast State College. How are you doing? I'm doing great, Chris. How are you? I'm doing fine. Thanks Good. for being here today. Absolutely. Now tell me, uh, Ms. Hoyt, uh, what is cooperative education? Tell me all about that. Okay, Chris. Uh, what cooperative education is here at the college, it's a program that allows a student, they enroll in cooperative education, um, and they get practical work experience through an employer out there. They have to have a job. It's a job they find on their own, or it's a job I help them find, or it may be from an employer who's calling the college looking for help. A student enrolls in cooperative education. They pay the same tuition for co-op as they do any other course because it uh, grants them three hours of college credit if they complete co-op. And the way they do that is through several ways. They have to complete a minimum of 150 hours with the employer over a semester. And they have some online assignments they have to complete through me. Um, they have to complete a weekly discussion question I post out to the students. They also have to do a PowerPoint presentation about their job, what they've learned, what they've um, the skills they've gotten out of it, what they liked about it, what they didn't like. We call it a reflection of their work experience. Mm -hmm. And they come in at the end of the semester and each co-op student presents about a 10 minute presentation about their co-op experience. And part of the grade will also come from their co-op employer. Their actual supervisor will um, complete a performance evaluation and um, evaluate the student's work and turn that into me and that all goes into part of their grading co-op. Mm -hmm. So which, uh, from what you mentioned, it sounds like it's really easy to get an A-plus in that course. I'm, I'm also a co-op mm -hmm. uh, co short student as well, so I better get an uh, A-plus. Well, how's your co-op experience? Um, it's very, very fun. I'm actually uh, working in cooperative education here at Spike Stoop. I'm learning to edit videos, shoot videos, you know, doing Wonderful. what I'm doing right now, interviewing you. It's all part of my uh, co-op experience, and it's very fun to work with the people here, too. Well, I'm glad to hear that, yes. and that experience will look great on a resume. Mm -hmm. um, your supervisor here can be a great employment reference for you in mm -hmm. the future, so co-op has a lot of benefits, and not only to the student, co-op also has a benefit to the employers. It can help them lower their recruiting costs. It could gives them a chance to try out an employee before making a decision about hiring them, mm -hmm. um, and that can be a big benefit in our economy, to have somebody to try out before you make the decision to hire them. And also, where can a student like me, how can someone sign up or enroll in this cooperative okay. education course? Um, to enroll in co-op, a student has to come through me. And the reason is, number one, I have to make sure they have a job. It's one they found on their own or one I find for them. Um, they enroll through me and I also give them, um, let them know what's expected of them in co-op, that there are certain deliverables they are expected to complete in order to uh, pass co-op and especially pass it with an A. That's very important. Mm -hmm. And how many times can a student sign up or enroll in a co-op? A student can take co-op uh, two, sometimes three times, and they earn three hours of college credit each time they take it. So that's roughly about six, six to nine, six to nine hours of college that's credit. Right. That's very valuable, yes, too. Yes, it is. And thank you for being with us here My today. My pleasure, Chris. And, you know, the co-op experience, it's very fun to work in co-op. Um, it's learning outside that normal classroom setting, that's too. Right. And it's valuable work experience. You can go along with this, too. It looks good on resumes, like you said. 
Uh, thanks very much for being here today. Like I said, hope I get an A plus for this. The whole course. I hope you do too, and it's <laughs> up to you, Chris. Well, we'll just see afterwards then. And if students want to see me, I'm in technology room 222. 222. Thank you very much, Ms. Hoyt. Thank you, Chris. And for GC Warren, I'm Chris Andrews. I think I have to Covering the life that is Gulf Coast State College and the surrounding communities. GCWiredNews.com. From student news to what's going on around the community. GCWiredNews.com. I'm Joshua Sandler, and I'm here with the cast of Four Better, Kaleidoscope's upcoming new show. Can you guys tell me a little bit about that show? Casey? Well, it's a uh, show about the digital age and like getting married in the digital age. So about 80% of the conversations take place over the phone, and some of them are like texting and emailing. So it's all about like the interlocking and the complexities of getting married and like maintaining relationships as everyone's on the go and just tuned into that. Busy day and age. Yeah. And what about your guys' parts in the show? How do you guys fit into the show? Well, Casey is pretty much my best phone buddy in the show. Um, I, I work at Verizon and I'm in love with a girl who's getting married, uh, which <sighs> I've loved her for a long time and she doesn't even know it, and then I find out she's getting married, and you know some things happen because of that. And uh, uh, I'm Casey Gunn, and this is Daphne Lewis. She's my oh. lovely wife, who unfortunately in the show, well, lovely wife in the show, <laughs> but uh, unfortunately we're having some marital problems, and those get exacerbated within the show. And it's a lot of fun. It's really funny. Uh, what I get myself into, and like <laughs> Francine gets herself sort of hole digging continuously. So it's a very funny show. Sounds like it. How did you guys like working together in that, in Kaleidoscope Theater? I love these guys. I just yeah. love them, like <laughs> family. I, I know he's being serious, but yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, like, we just got together and kind of, like, clicked. Maybe not immediately, immediately, but, you know, within, like, a week or two, we were just, like, you know, gabbing and yeah, uh, we're all as funny. We're, 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 as we, but it, it, you know, it's really good chemistry, not only on stage but off stage. So yeah. it just sort of flows into that. Yeah. So we're all really excited uh, every single night, you know, every single rehearsal because we get to work together. <laughs> so I was working together this last weekend. I hear you guys did your first sh shows this weekend. It was a blast. We had a great time. Great and, audience. Lots of laughs. Lots of laughs. I think, I don't know that there was anybody in there that did not laugh out loud. <laughs> Truly. Yeah, at so, least a few times. So everybody should see the show then, Absolutely. just to get a good laugh out of it. Absolutely. It's really good when you like, because uh, we've been doing it for like two months now, so we just know the show. So at some point you're just like, I don't know if this is funny, really. <laughs> so it's not until you get to that first like dress, like the dress rehearsals, and then finally when people come to the show, they're like, oh, wow. I didn't even know that yeah, was funny. Exactly. But all right, yeah. It's great. 
So if somebody wanted to see this funny show, how would they go about doing that? Where are you guys located, and how much are tickets? It is at Kaleidoscope Theater, which is 207 East 24th Street in Lynn Haven. Uh, you can reserve tickets by calling 850-265-3226. Um, ticket prices are $16 at the door for adults, $15 for seniors in active duty, and $8 for students. And the shows are Friday and Saturday evening at 7.30 and Sunday matinee at 2 p.m. And for the next two weekends. Two weekends. So this right. weekend and the following weekend. Okay. This so weekend. Don't miss it. Yeah. You're <laughs> not going to want to miss this show. You're not going oh, to. No. You won't get this opportunity again. No. I mean, but look at us. Three beautiful people here. La laugh out loud funny. Guaranteed. Guaranteed. Well, I could probably say something right now. <laughs> that makes S Sandy Wilson very happy. <laughs> Go ahead. Well, I got one more question for you guys. Very important, completely relevant to this interview and to the show itself. If your show was a soda, what kind of soda would it be? Oh, I still don't. How are we going to do that? Want to huddle up? Huddle up a little bit? Oh, <laughs> you want to do the concocted? Yeah, let's do the concocted one. Sure. Okay, it's, a con it's a concoction of Red Bull, Mountain Dew, Shirley, Shirley Temple, Temple. Which is ginger ale and cherry. <laughs> <laughs> and what other, whatever other flavors and caffeine that you want to put in there because it's really an explosive mix of cleverly <laughs> written material yeah. that interacts all over the place. Wonderfully directed by Sandy Wilson. Absolutely, did a great job. She did a great job. Okay. Well, thank you guys for coming down. Thanks for having oh, us. Thank you. Uh, it was, a, it was a blast, yeah. especially the concoction part. <laughs> Going to have to try it one day. Yeah. If you're a community event and would like to do an interview like the ones we just did, then please contact us at mygcwired at gmail.com. With the cast of Four Better from GC Wired, I'm Josh Sandler. So. Two thousand and twelve will mark the fifth year that Spike Soup Productions has been promoting this college and the community that we surround. From our humble beginnings of a one camera and a green room to a multi-camera studio that can be moved to almost any location. If you are a Gulf Coast State College student interested in learning more about post-video productions or video journalism, join the team. We are open to all students at Gulf Coast State College, regardless of your major, and whether or not you prefer to be on camera or behind it. You could also get college credit by our cooperative program. To find out more, come by our studios in the technology building in room 123, we're next to the vending machine. Also check out our website, gcwirednews.com. Covering the life that is Gulf Coast State College and the surrounding communities. GCWiredNews.com. From student news to what's going on around the community. GCWiredNews.com.